In this video, we talk about installing R and R Studio on Windows 10. And so let's go ahead and get into it. Now, first things first, we need to go to cran.r-project.org. And I'll have a link in the description down below so you can click that link and quickly come to this website here. But this is where we're gonna go ahead and install R to our computer. Now, they have three different versions for three different operating systems, Linux, Mac, and Windows. I'm gonna be installing it for Windows in this video, but the same concept applies no matter which operating system you're using. But I'm gonna go ahead and select Windows now. And I do wanna go ahead and download the base version. And it tells us this is what we wanna to do to install R for the first time. So we go ahead and click there and we'll go ahead and download R version 4.0.3 for Windows and go ahead and download it real quick. And once it's downloaded, go ahead and pop it up so we can go ahead and install it. And I wanna go with yes there. And okay for my English language and next and go ahead and select where you wanna go ahead and install the file to. Um, I'm running a 64 bit version of Windows so I'm not gonna bother with the 32 bit files. I'll stick with the 64 bit files. But you can install both, that's no big deal either way. Um, go ahead and hit next now. And then please specify yes or no, then click next. Uh, I would just do no, do the default setup, or unless you wanna play around with it, by all means go with it. I'm just showing you how I would install it. Now hit R, next, sounds good. If you wanna do desktop shortcut and all that stuff, I'm just leaving it at the default settings and it goes through and extracts and installs and all that type of stuff and I'll be right back. And so just like that, I've installed R to my computer. So I'll go ahead and hit finish and I could come into my start menu here and navigate to R if I want to or if I added a shortcut to my desktop, I could go there. And right now I could go ahead and start coding things in the R console, so hello. And boom, just like that, I am operating an R, but more than likely you're gonna to wanna to install a, an add-on. We'll call it an add-on. It's probably got a better name than that, but it's called R Studio, and it gives you a bunch of flexibility, and it's just a lot easier to work with R within R Studio. So I don't use this at all, um, but I wanted to show it to you in case you were interested in it. Now let's go to R Studio, which is where we're gonna do most of our work. So it's just rstudio.com or I'll have a link down in the description below if you wanna click the link. Uh, come on down here. We got R Studio right here. So click over to this option and we wanna come on down here. There are two versions of R Studio. We got R Studio Desktop, R Studio Server. Probably want the desktop version. And then we got Open Source Edition or R Studio Desktop Pro. We're gonna go with the free version. So download R Studio Desktop. And it says download the R Studio IDE. So there we go. It's an IDE instead of an add-on. And we'll click on download here. And it automatically sends that I have Windows. So I'll go ahead and select this option right here. And I'll go ahead and install it to my computer real quick or download it to my computer. And while I'm waiting for it to download, you'll notice that there are other installers down below. So if you have another operating system, you could go ahead and download the relevant file for whatever operating system you're on. But mine finished downloading, so I'll go ahead and pop it open real quick. And I wanna run this on my computer. And next, and just like where I wanna install it to, and I can rename it or whatever I wanna do there. But I just left the default settings, obviously, so it's gonna go through, extract, and install. And just like that, R Studio has been installed to my computer, so I'll go ahead and hit finish now. And now I could go ahead and load up R Studio and load it up real quick and we'll take a quick tour of it check it out real quick so here it goes and first things first i want to go ahead and create a new r script so i'll come up here hit the little plus button r script and now i could go ahead and start typing out my code if i want to and we see down here in the bottom left hand corner we have the console here and it gives us our output down below. So we program up here, we get our output over here, we get plots and packages over here, and then we have our environment where it shows us our variables and all sorts of other stuff that we've imported uh, over here. So as we work through different examples in R and doing different things, you'll see how these, you know, four windows, four sections, you know, populate with information. Now, also real quick, you might want to change the way it looks. I know a lot of people that are programming like a darker theme because it's easier on the eyes. So we can come up here to file here and it's not in file. I want to go to tools actually and come on down here to global options. And you see there's a bunch of different options in here you can go ahead and play with, but I want to come in here to appearance and now I could go ahead and select a different appearance for my R Studio. 
Now I'm personally going to zoom in on the text a little bit so that way when I'm recording these videos it's easier to see what's going on and what I'm typing and all that type of stuff. So, But if you want it smaller or larger, you know, do whatever makes you happy. Uh, you can change the font family and then we can get into our themes down here. So you can select a darker theme, you know, one that kind of floats your boat, so to say. So we'll just go with cobalt for the time being. Click apply real quick and we see that it is larger now and more easy for people to see as I'm teaching different lessons and all that type of stuff. So anyway, that's how you go ahead and install R and R Studio to your computer. And hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And I hope that you have a great rest of the day.